Hey guys, today I am going to talk about Grant Cardone's and Anthony Farrar's investment of half a million dollars, according to Anthony. Now, this was posted on Instagram, and he did tag the people in the pictures, and they are official Grant Cardone University representatives, so I've double-checked on that. It does seem like this is actually Grant Cardone's program. Was Grant actually at the meeting, or was it just being supervised by his teaching assistants? I don't know that. Um, I would expect that if Grant was at the meeting, Anthony would desperately try to get a picture with him, since, of course, he is a VIP. He's got the VIP rubber bracelet that costs maybe 20 cents to buy. So let's kind of timeline this for you. As soon as the Grant Cardone program is over and as soon as it's implemented, the entire TPG goes dark. Uh, they fail. And then uh, the next video is I'm $5 million in debt. There are police reports coming up on Reddit almost daily about his past incidences, which have painted him in a very, very bad light. Somebody you definitely do not want to do business with. And essentially, after joining the Grant Cardone program, the 10X program, which he supposedly paid half a million dollars to join, uh, his life completely, and the business, uh, more importantly, I'm just focused on the business, has completely fell apart. How much of that is Grant's program's fault? How much of that is Anthony's fault? Well, the way I look at what a scam is, is I look at a scam as something that is falsely advertised, as something that is very expensive for the benefit that you receive. So when you go to Grant Cardone's event and you are and he's promising to 10x 10x, well, he actually 10x the dude's debt because the guy does not have a successful business. Anthony, I think we can all admit, um, it, it takes a genius level spender to I mean, because we're running a business. I know what you guys are going to say. Oh, it's just marketing. It's marketing. But I can tell you, businesses have marketing and they still make profit. Yes, I can tell you, there are businesses, especially small businesses like Anthony, with no investors and with marketing, and they still make a profit. It is therefore quite surprising that Anthony's business has lost that much money. Now, many of you will say, oh, well, that doesn't make any sense. Like, you know, marketing is marketing. And the the problem is, is actually quite simple. Um, and I can take this problem, like, you know, like, let's say you have a Spanish tutor who's certified and really good at teaching Spanish. Now, if you're a beginner and you don't know anything about Spanish, um, the Spanish tutor is going to teach you some very basic stuff. Now, the Spanish tutor is a celebrity tutor or Instagram influencer. They're going to charge you a lot of money to teach you things that um, any other tutor for less money can teach you, right? Um, a comparison of this would be if Anthony instead went to community college and learned Business 101, he would learn many of the same things Grant Cardone was teaching him. Now, the higher level things, uh, so this Spanish is the same exact Spanish influencer, may make sense if you are you know a you know you're a, a very close to expert level spanish and you need it for work and you just need to work on some business lingo or business language in spanish and you have an important uh, spanish client that you and you want to impress that client with your knowledge of uh, spanish that same tutor can then teach that student in the same one hour much more valuable things that is specialized to that tutor so we're talking about influencer who is, let's say, a Spanish language expert. Yes, they can tutor somebody with no Spanish experience, but what they would be tutoring could also be mimicked by somebody who is uh, maybe maybe like a, a local uh, elementary uh, teacher who uh, teaches Spanish to elementary students. But the expertise value is really where you need something like a business deal. You need something... You, you need to impress, right? You need somebody with actual expertise in this. That same person can also do that. That's what I get with patterns a lot. I say, hey, I'm very expensive and I specialize in PCTs, which are Chinese patterns. Um, if you have like a, a regular pattern, it may not make too much sense for you to hire me at my rate. 
because my rate is based on my hours. Now, if I'm if I'm teaching you basic pattern stuff that you can learn from a YouTube video, I'll just be like, okay, well, here's a bunch of videos, here's a bunch of things to review, and then come back if you have any questions or are there are any specific questions I can answer directly. That's the same way that I would do consulting for marketing. If a business has a specific problem that they need solutions for, I would help them on that. But I'm not gonna sit there and teach them marketing 101 because they wouldn't have that value for the per hour they were paying me. And that's the problem with uh, Grant Cardone. We don't actually know if Grant Cardone is worth half a million dollars. Maybe to some people they are, he is. Maybe there's a CEO that Grant can teach something that will save the CEO, let's say 10% of his extra time. And that can make 10% extra money for a billion dollar company. It's possible. But when you have such little business basics as Anthony, and people are like, oh, he's a business. No, no, he's not. He's $5 million in debt. I can tell you this for a fact. Most businesses of Anthony's size, 10 to 12 employees, will never face this type of debt. Because to have $5 million in debt, you have to be in debt with some people. So that's stealing consignment watches. That's effing investors off. Whatever that is. It is a very, very rare thing for a small business startup like Anthony's to accumulate this much debt. Because at some point, the consignees or at some point, the investor, at some point, somebody should have been like, oh, shit, man, I'm, I'm not going to get my one watch back. Instead of saying, oh, I'm not going to get my $2 million of watches back. At some point, the, the uh, scheme ends much sooner. Most schemes end much sooner than this. To get $5 million in debt really is a art skill. It's very artistic. It's very, and I mean, it's, it's incredible to accumulate that much debt as a business and as an individual. So I, you know, we, I mean, I, I just, I was talking to a, a person who added me on Facebook last night and about Grant Cardone. I have to do more research about Grant Cardone. Maybe I will make a video about him in the future. But as right now, like, yeah, half a million dollars is a lot of money. But is Grant Cardone worth half a million dollars? And I would say, yeah, he gets paid more than that to do speaking engagements. So for Grant Cardone's time, it might actually make sense. Just like uh, Anthony's prior coach, which he paid $100,000 to, that also didn't make sense because the prior coach was just teaching Anthony how to get a secretary and how to outsource work, basically how to delegate work, which is something that a community class, one community college course can teach Anthony more basics than the whole Grant Cardone enterprise, in my personal opinion, at this level. So it's like having an expert in Spanish or having an expert in, let's say, um, let's ha let's say that you, you have a physical exam. And you, ha you hired an expert in quantum physics. Yes, he can probably teach you what gravity is and, and how to put the gravity in equation. But it's not really a good use of his or her time. They are a Nobel Prize winning quantum physicist, right? They're probably Time is probably better spent at a nuclear power plant or figuring out fusion or fission, right? Um, but they could teach you. So what Anthony did was he hired somebody that was way out of his expertise league for way too much money. I would surmise the $100,000, and, and it's not really the coach's fault, right? It's the coach teaching coach. It's not really that, that guy's fault that Anthony's lack of business knowledge is so basic that he's trying to teach him delegation because in his mind, it probably will help him a lot, and, and it would have had he actually hired, done what he said, find a Joan, if you will, that can do most of your busy work. And, and honestly, it's great advice, but it's very beginner advice, right? It's delegation. It's not advice for somebody who already has 12 employees. Um, he or she should already know that, but Anthony does not. And this is what we talk about. Anthony argued with me in a comment about education and how he can succeed without it. This is where I'm going to differ a little bit. I'm not super pro-education. I'm not pro-student debt, like getting into insane amounts of student debt for your underwater basket weaving program. I'm not about that. I think a lot of colleges are predatory. I think a lot of colleges and universities, including Watts Dealer University, they use the same scummy tactics to sign up students who are just trying to make a change in their lives, right? Trying to better themselves. 
true education. But once education becomes privatized and monetized and all about how much money can we milk from these students uh, from federal loans, right? That being, I mean, it is what it is. So back to um, the, the main issue here. The main issue is Anthony, for somebody who is promoting a university, does not, has never really been to a university. He doesn't have a college degree. I don't know if he's taking any college classes. He seems to very be very anti-college, anti-university. And that's very silly because he then he opened his own university, right? We have a guy who's not good at business. And now it is relevant. I mean, if I told you, hey, you ha I'm going to give you $5 million. And you're going to go to Los Angeles. And you're just going to do marketing the whole time. You would have more subscribers than Anthony. I promise you, you would have more subscribers than uh, his Instagram, his TikTok. I mean, it is crazy to me. $5 million can buy you a lot in America. It can buy you a lot of followers. It can buy you a lot of fans. It can buy you a lot of uh, you know bots or whatever it's going to buy you. You can fake your social media very well with $5 million. He didn't even do that correctly. It all fell apart, and all he has left is his social media and his Indian bot. But like, he could have really built a one mil. If I give you five million dollars, and the goal was to get a hundred thousand YouTube subscribers, you don't think anyone could do? And over two year period, you don't think anyone could do it? You could just do giveaways. You can just buy bots to help the algorithm. You could do a shit ton of things, and you would have a hundred thousand plus subscribers at this point in time. This is the worst path to get there. Um, because you stole people's watches, your reputation is skunked. Um, there's not much I can I can really say about Anthony. I, I it, it's sad to see, but everything that Anthony's done has been a lie. He's not a successful business person. He's not a marketing genius, which at one time I thought he was. He's just a guy spending money. When you spend five million dollars, and especially of other people's money, oh. Uh, OPM, other people's money is what they would call an investment. It's really fun times. Uh, of course, you're going to find friends that like you. It's hard not to, right? You know, when uh, you're spending that type of money on dinners and their cars and their apartment rentals and their Ducatis and their Corvettes with Lambo doors because, of course, they need, you know, you paid for that too. When you spend this type of money and it's other people's money and you don't really are not concerned about it. Um, yeah, you are going to find out something really fast and it's going to be very, very interesting. What you find out is once the money's gone, you are actually never good at making money. You're only good at spending money. And no coach, no program, no nothing can help you. Because you never knew how to make a dollar to begin with. So like you 10x, right? What are you 10xing? You're dead. So there you go. I mean, I mean, it should be pretty obvious that when you 10x something, you can only 10x something that you have. You cannot 10x something you do not have. And in terms of, you know, what Anthony does not have, he's never been able to show a profit. Even from the early days, they would just do revenue and, and so on. And revenue means nothing. You know, I could start a company with $10 million or $5 million. And my company is, hey, for every $1 you give me, I will give you $2 back. Well, we would easily, we would, within the 24 hours, we would have a $2.5 million revenue at a $5 million expense. We would lose $2.5 million straight up in that day. That doesn't mean that we're a successful company just because we generated $2.5 million revenue. Our expense is $5 million. So we've actually lost $2.5 million. Anyway, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, I am. This is a very fascinating topic because it also loops in Grant Cardone, which is somebody who I also want to make videos on, of course, in the future once I do a little bit more research. Bye, guys.